Hey, what's up you guys? It's Options Finest back again with another video and in this one I'm going to be going over the differences between having a full-size keyboard and a 60% keyboard. Starting off with the Black Widow keyboard, I got this back in 2015 and I have not swapped since. And then on my right, I have the Razer Huntsman Mini Analog, which I've had the pleasure of using over the last month. So let's start with the Black Widow. On this keyboard, you have the luxury of having a lot more buttons, as you can tell. It is a full-size keyboard, so you have everything on the right, including the number pad. One benefit of this is if using and browsing a lot of different things on the internet, oftentimes find yourself using different pieces of this keyboard. For example, Example, if you're going to search up something on the internet, you know, on Google, and you're typing something out, what you're looking for is a little bit lower on the search results, like it's ready to autofill you. Now, instead of typing out the rest of that on your keyboard, you're able to just hit the down arrow and do that a few times. Whereas on the Huntsman, on the 60% keyboard, since there's not enough keys to compensate for adding individual arrow keys, you have to hit function and then find which key represents the arrows. So in this case, it's K to go down. So you hit function K on this keyboard. Now that may not seem like a big deal, but it can also add up. Because if you're thinking about other things, like if you're going to simply refresh the page on something on a web page, you can just hit F5 and you're good to go. But if you go on the 60% keyboard, you'd have to hit function and then five, which represents F5. So that's another thing to consider that you have to add the extra press of the button when going in between different functions of the keyboard that you can have. But if you're aiming to have more of a minimal setup and you're not looking for something that takes up too much space like a full size keyboard does, then I think that the 60% one would be more for you. Because as you can see in their environments, with the 60% keyboard, I'm able to move it around a lot more and have a lot more freedom in where I put it. As you can tell, I, in my area, I don't have that much space. So if you're someone that does not have a lot of space to really work with, I know I'm grateful to have a lot more than most, but for me, when I have the computer on the desk and I have the monitor stands here, it gets in the way of having this full-size keyboard because sometimes I'm not able to maneuver it in a more comfortable position. With the 60% one, I was able to do that very easily and I was very able to switch up anything that I had a problem with when I was gaming or doing anything else. It's a little bit harder to do that with this one. Now you can fix that by getting like a monitor stand. When I get a monitor stand, I'll be able to raise the monitors and put it on one stand and get rid of the bottom pieces on these two monitors so it frees up more space for me. But if, like I said, if you do not have the luxury of making more space or you have no space at all, then the full-size keyboard might not make enough sense for you. But if you have more space, you're looking for functionality to be able to have no problem in pressing other random keys to do operations on your keyboard, then full-size keyboard is good for you. But if you're someone that does not have a lot of space, then the 60% keyboard may be for you because you're able to move it around a lot easier. It doesn't take as much space. If you're deciding to go and take it somewhere, like if you travel a lot, or you and you like to use it when you travel or if you just like going to your friend's house and taking it with you having a full-size keyboard would be a big struggle to do that with so having a 60 percent keyboard would be a lot easier for you to do so so to sum it all up if you're someone that has a lot of space on their desk and doesn't care about that someone who likes the extra functionality and you don't plan on carrying this around with you everywhere that you go then having a full-size keyboard would be a better option for you. But if you're someone that does not have a lot of space, likes to travel a lot, and doesn't mind have not having the extra functionality that comes with full-size keyboards, then I think that having a 60% keyboard is definitely nice. the right choice for you. I hope that that helps you out in your decision. I'm going to be reviewing a lot more keyboards like this in the 60% area because I'm trying to find one to switch off from my full-size keyboard. So if you're interested in that and many more videos that I'm gonna be coming out with, hit the subscribe and turn on the notification bell, keep yourself updated. But with all of that said and done, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I helped you make your decision here. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. And if you have any other thoughts about this topic, leave them down in the comments as well. I read every comment and respond. So like I said, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week and peace.